What is going on everybody, my name is Ekidmi, and these are three reasons why you should not use Rec Room's new full body avatars. Number one, other players can tag you a lot easier in PvP games. So as you guys know, this is the original Rec Room uh, Bean body type, and as you can see I don't have any feet, legs, arms, or neck. So I have less space where I can be hit and be tagged out. But now, as you guys can see in the full body avatar, I have arms, I have legs, I have shoes, Yay! I even have ears. Somebody could literally hit me in the ear. Oh my god, bro. Oh, hell. So you have much more space where a player can tag or shoot you. You'd be surprised how close shots are to getting you out. Alright, so let's test it out. As you can see, I've got a gun in my hand. Oh look, there's paint stains on my arm. You can shoot literally around your arm on your elbow. And also look, on the, on, on the legs as well. On, on, the, on the legs as well, and the shoes. So you can get hit literally everywhere. Now we switch to the bean outfit. I can't get shot there. There is at least about 40 to 50 centimeters in real life where, where you can't get shot. Same as the feet. You've got no feet, so it can't hit you there. Same with the legs. The lowest it can hit me is, is, is here. Not, not even the pants line, above the pants line. So yeah, you have less of a hit mark. Reason two. Obbies or obstacle courses in Rec Room are 10 times harder with a full body avatar. With a full body avatar, you have the long legs and the feet. Like, look how big the feet are. The, the feet are literally bigger than my hand. So while you're going around those tricky obstacles, those ones where it's got like lines on the ground where you can't touch them, because your feet are so wide and long, they will end up hitting it rather than if you have the bean outfit, you have a smaller hitbox. Even guys, there's some of those mazes like that where you can't actually touch this wall. If you're walking forward and your feet accidentally hit it before your head, you could be out as well. So that's just another reason. So guys, we are at the part in the obstacle course or obby where you can't touch those lines. I am in full body. You can see my arms and you can see my legs. It does seem fine. I just tried it then. And it does seem pretty fine. But I know on PC that uh, it, it's very, very difficult uh, compared to VR. So if you're on PC or console or screen, it is very difficult with full body. Um, it's a lot easier with Bean. So yeah, guys, we are now on Rec Room screen mode and we have the full body avatar on, as you can see, my arms, legs, and feet. And let's try and do this very slowly. See how we jumped over two? We didn't even hit it and it still got us out. So jump over two in the middle, that was good. We didn't even hit the red then, we nearly did, but we didn't. So yeah, that just proves my point of the full body, not, not being very good with obstacle courses. Now we switch back to the bean outfit, as you can see, no arms, no legs, and let's try and just do this normally. Easy. Easy. See, so much easier as the bean outfit. There's just using a full body in an obstacle course. Look, we'll do a first try. First try, easy. And we just jumped over two then. That is how easy it is. And we just jumped over to them. Look how close we are to the red line. If we were in full body, we would have been out. So that's just how much more simple and easy it is to use a bean outfit in Rec Room obbies or obstacle courses. And reason three, guys, is pretty much just, it's very buggy. I don't know if you guys have recently seen across the Rec Room community all the bugs and glitches that have come with the full body avatars. There has been some good ones, like the arm stretch was really fun, but um, Rec Room actually removed it. I don't know why. It was a very funny glitch. The one that I dislike the most is kind of the one in the watch menu, in the customize menu, where you go to put something on. Say, say you put like, I don't know, something on, and then you go to switch to full body. And sometimes it doesn't register, like it puts the pants on straight away. Look, we, we don't even have those pants on, and it's already put on. It is pretty cool to be fair, but still, we did, we did not put that on at all. We did not choose those pants and it does it automatically. So if you want two things, you're going to have to go back into a different section and, and choose that yourself. And look, as soon as we choose different pants, I don't know why, but it, it changed our shirt. So we aren't even wearing the Barbie one anymore. And look, some of the shirts don't even show up when you go into full body. Like I'm in the bean right now and I can see these Barbie and these new things and this workout shirt, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And look, you go into the full body, you go customize and they're just gone. They've just disappeared. And look, even no matter what I select, mine or not mine, see, this is another glitch. It, it doesn't have the prices of things. It doesn't say owned or not owned. It doesn't have the prices or anything. So that, that's just another glitch where it's not even changing what, what, it, what it is. But yeah guys, those are three reasons why you should not 
use Rec Room's new full body avatars. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, leave feedback in the comment section below, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.